Now, if you guys remember, if you guys remember, where did the inverse come from? If you guys remember the inverse, this is basically another way of saying this. Yes? The cosine of what angle is negative square root of 2 over 2, correct? The cosine of what angle is negative square root of 2 over 2? So to undo the cosine of an angle, we took the cosine inverse of both sides, right? So basically, this tells us theta is equal to the cosine inverse of negative square root of 2. That's basically what I'm asking. That's basically what we're asking. What is the angle? However, let's go back to this original function. Because we're talking about the inverse, which we've already been talking about here with inverses. We're talking about the cosine of an angle, and we want to find the inverse. So we have a restriction on that angle. That angle, remember the restriction that we said of the function? If we're going to find the inverse, the restriction of the domain for cosine has to be between 0 and pi. So I know my restriction of my angles have to be between 0 and pi. That's my restriction. Remember I wrote down the restriction? Because the only way for us to flip that graph for it to be a function was to have a restriction. The restriction on the domain of cosine is going to be 0 to pi. So if I want to find the inverse, which angle produces negative square root of 2 over 2? Now, let's think about this. Well, it's negative, right? So I told you guys to draw that unit circle. If you guys go ahead and use that circle, you know cosine represents that x-coordinate, right? So here, 45 degrees, or pi halves, We'll use our pi over 4, sorry. Pi over 4 gives you the x coordinate square root of 2 over 2. However, if this needs to be a negative, then that point needs to be over here or over here. Would you, would you guys agree that this is both going to produce the negative points? Taking this point flipped over here. Um, but the problem is, remember, what does my restriction have to be? It has to be between. 0 and pi. So does this point even work? No. no. So if this is pi over 4, what the heck point is this? Well, or think about it this way. There's so many ways for you guys to do this. If this is 45 degrees, right? Well, think about this. If this is in force, pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. So you could say theta is equal to 3 pi over 4. Or 45 plus 45 is 90 plus 45, AJ is, thank you, 135 degrees. Now, we go back and check our answer. And, but we're going to be concerned about using these in radians. Okay? Use degrees to check your answer if you like to. But we want to know everything we're going to basically be doing in radians. Um, but does this make sense? Does this, does this fall within our constraint? Yes. That's it. We're done. It just asks you to find the cosine. Wait, I'm just confused. How? Yeah. What 